foreign portfolio investors or FPIs extended their robust selling streak in the Indian market. This development is happening amid the ongoing geopolitical tensions and cheaper valuations in the Chinese stock market. According to the National Securities Depository Limited, FPIs offloaded Rs 85,790 crore rupees worth of Indian equities and the net outflow stood at 89,977 crores as of October 25th, taking into account debt, hybrid, debt VRR and equities. FBI's had made a remarkable comeback to the Indian markets in September, snapping their previous moderation driven by domestic and global factors. They were consistent buyers in June and July, after the election-related jitters faded and stability returned to the Indian markets. So what is triggering this sell-off? Well, the Dalal Street experts say the trend of sustained FBI selling which started in early October continues and shows no sign of reversal soon. Dr. V.K. Vijay Kumar, Chief Investment Strategist at Geojit Financial Services said that the Chinese stimulus measures and the cheap valuation of Chinese stocks triggered the current wave of FPI selling. The elevated valuations in India made India the top choice of FIIs to sell. The fundamental trigger for the FII outflows is the elevated returns in India and the relatively cheap and attractive valuations in the Chinese market. The FII selling is getting aggravated by news of a slowdown in corporate earnings. The market's uptrend is incompatible with a downward trend in earnings growth. What has also added to the woes is the upcoming US elections. A sharp rise in recent US bond yields has been witnessed ahead of the elections implying diminished expectations for aggressive rate cuts by the US Fed. So, what should domestic retail investors do? Well, the only positive factor is the sustained flow of money into mutual funds, which helps domestic investors absorb the massive FII selling. As per analysts, this can provide resilience to the otherwise weak market, where there is no valuation comfort. Hence, growth stocks are likely to be more resilient in this market where value is hard to come by. The market therefore is witnessing selling at every rise, turning the near-term market structure into sell on the rally. Experts say that investors must be cautious at this juncture and refrain from chasing temporary rallies. High-quality financials and IT stocks can be bought on dips and digital stocks that continue to show acceleration and growth can be gradually accumulated on declines. What do you make out of this entire development? Do you think FPI sell-off would continue growing? Please let us know in the comment section and stay tuned to LiveBend for more such updates.